there comes a time when we need to step up our programming and get user input because as of now if you're following the playlist we have been uh, using values we directly enter into the program but what if we want to use values which a user enters so I'm just gonna make a simple example of where a program reads a string inputted by the user and just prints it right back out and I'm gonna show you how to do that so let's make a new <clears throat> class okay um, we'll, we'll call this one get user string check that box right there okay and the first thing we gotta do to get a user is input um, we gotta make a scanner this is how we're gonna do it we're gonna make a scanner um, so we're gonna say scanner my scanner um, equals new and we're gonna put scanner and system dot in as the argument uh, this is basically saying we're making a new uh, we're making a scanner we're giving it the name my scanner we're gonna go ahead and create the new scanner and as its constructor we're gonna put system dot in as for its constructor uh, method we don't need to actually worry so much about what all this does for now just know that this is creating a, a new scanner object and the scanner object is what is used to to get user input now Java won't let us create a new scanner object because we haven't told it to import all the information about the scanner object so how do we do that at the very top of your Java file somewhere just put in um, import Java dot util dot scanner not scanner scanner there we go and then all is well all those red squigglies disappear and so how do we get my scanner that's the name of our scanner um, my scanner how do we get that to read or get the user input well we use a method inside my scanner and that method is called we're gonna use next line and as you can see next line returns a string and let's do this okay so it's gonna return a string with whatever the user input it but right now that's not gonna to do too much so in order to store whatever the user inputs I'm gonna go ahead and make a string variable and call it user in user in how about that so that string variable is gonna store whatever the user inputs and how do we do that we just put user in equals to whatever my scanner dot next line returns and we're gonna make sure we finish it off with a semicolon now how do we know that the user or how do we tell the user that they should input something well let's do a system dot out dot print and I'm gonna print out a string please input some text okay and then I said our program would just spit whatever they entered right back into the console it would return it to them probably the most basic example of getting user input so we're gonna after we get the user input we're gonna do a system dot out dot print line and we're gonna type in your input was colon space plus and we're gonna t print out whatever user dot in it is set at at that point in time and there's a semicolon there and we're not gonna put that period right there I don't know why I did that uh, we're gonna press play proceed please enter in, please input some text uh, this is some text which I am inputting your input was this is some text which I'm inputting and that was the value stored in user dot in so that's our user input program let me explain what all of this does one more time uh, from the top we're telling Java that we're gonna be using the scanner object inside our code so we're gonna import the scanner here we make a new scanner we put in the type of uh, or the type of the object we're creating how about that and we're gonna call it my scanner and it's gonna be equal to 
new scanner. So we're actually creating, initializing the scanner object. And as the constructor argument, we put system.in. Uh, we don't need to worry about line 10 that much. Just know that it's creating a new scanner that we call my scanner. Um, we're making a string called user.in that's going to store our input. Uh, then we're printing out a prompt to the user saying, please input some text. Okay. And then we're setting user in to whatever value my scanner dot next line returns. And that is whatever value the user enters. And it will wait until the user enters text and hits enter before proceeding. Okay. So you, once the user enters some text, this returns the text. It, it sets that text into the variable user in. And then we just do a system.out.println and we print out your user input was and then we just print out user in. And that's our basic user input uh, program.